Okay, hello, Internet. Uh, it is Forgowitz and K here. For those of you who play The Hidden often might know him from The Hidden Cow, mostly, um, and you might be very frustrated by his antics. Um, this is going to be a more advanced <laughs> hidden tutorial uh, of uh, physics and other things. Uh, I'm going to put his channel right here, so you can go ahead and click that, and there will be some accompanying footage. Hey. It's just rude. That will go along with this tutorial. You can just see from his perspective. And, uh, yeah, so let's roll right into it. And jump cut. Here is more of a instantly throw the object and kill them. This is where you do it where they don't really see where you're at. Pick it up immediately and throw it straight at them, and typically it will kill them. Just stand on top of this pallet up here. They can be done with really anything. Okay, so this is the instant someone is standing next to stuff. Yeah. And yeah. you destroy them. Stand on it. Oh, stand on it, right. Mm -hmm. Either way will work. I want to see if I can get this one right. You can do it either right or left. It's just too goddamn yeah. fast to see. <laughs> I guess you'll have to see my demo after I have it recorded. I just can't get that flick quite fast enough. It's, Damn it. Yeah, it's gotta be really fast. <laughs> huh? You can do it. Oh, there we go. There you go. That's really quick, you have to do that. You have to almost violently yes. swing your mouse. Mm hmm It's really useful for people, you know, in Stockyard when they're walking by that pallet, the first pallet they get to, and you just immediately are sitting there waiting and instantly kill them as they walk by. Alright, so try to kill me as I'm up here on this trailer part with the uh, tires. You can one-hit me. Um, I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> ha. There you go. That's so fast. Now, see, you can do that with that. pallets. Yeah, you can do the exact same thing with pallets. But but tires have more of a chance of killing than pallets do when you do it like that. Just because of their small little you know point that hits you basically. <laughs> That was 50. Not bad. You threw all your toys away. Okay, I'm trying to get him with a down smash while he's standing on the object. You just pounce straight up and slam down, and it will kill them 90% of the time. Can you kill people? Have you been able to kill people who are standing on objects? Do you know how to do that? Um. Pounce straight up and then down smash. Yeah, I'm not good at it. I'm not accurate with my down swipes because I play at a I really. fairly low sensitivity compared to what I found most people play at. Mm -hmm. Um, and I find that a lot of people fizz kill by just cranking their sensitivity all the way up and just using uh, down swipes exclusively. Five hundred. I'm not good at just the straight up and down. Which I need is to get it just better, because your sensitivity is a little lower, so yeah, it takes longer for you to. Yeah, exactly. Because I prefer to do side down. swipes generally. Oh, okay. Well, that's the hard thing. Found the sweet spot in your your aiming, you know, mm -hmm. gun wise versus physics wise. <laughs> I can, I don't know, I can play Iris at pretty much any sensitivity. Uh, yeah. Failure. Nearly pig stuck you. <laughs> you can kill people by pig sticking objects down onto them too. Oh yeah, does uh, pig stick in It'll just make them suicide. Some, some momentum. Yeah. Right. I don't know why they made the Pixic do so much damage. 925 is just such a odd number for them to pick, but yeah. it translates that damage onto their head pretty oh, much. Oh, I didn't even know yeah. you could fist it like that. 
<laughs> yeah. That's where the pig stick is born. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, I just people who um... turn up my sensitivity a touch. One thing I didn't show in my previous video was, uh... I don't know if there's any secret to it, I'm not exactly good at it, but the, uh, pouncing forward. There we go. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Um, most of the time... You can either have it already in your hand, or you can pounce over it and then flick it up at them. Right. Either one of those work. I'll try the flicking up at them, but that's probably won't go as well. Uh, there we go. That's a pounce forward, All grab, and then the, flick upwards. The speed. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So it's all just about the speed that you give just... the object. Yeah. Like, the faster you flick something, and the less you have it in your hand, it's like the server doesn't realize that it's moved that far, but when you let go, it's like a, an instantly fast object. <laughs> right, okay. okay. It's just timing when you press E is the key to it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Come on. I'm gonna, um... There we go. <laughs> Those are pretty deadly too. There's oh, yeah. the top of the chair, just because it's such a small area, it does a lot of damage. So the area that it uh, of the impacting point has a lot to do with the damage. I guess you can say that. Yeah, it's think of it as when you throw a big object, it's got to spread out the damage over that entire surface area. But when you have like a small point, it concentrates the damage on that point. Whoops. So, it pretty much helps you if you have a smaller object. Okay. Or just a smaller point of damage, I guess I could say. <laughs> Not really the object. Meaning corners of pallets and corners of, you know, chairs and things like that. The next thing is, I guess, tires. Tires, tires are really good because they have circles. They have lots of little points on them, I guess you could say. Okay. So it's not one big flat area that you're hitting somebody with. You're actually right. hitting them with a very tiny point. They're really it's good. Side geometric, throws. Down no matter throws what. Not very good. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I like I like tires. So even though they're small, they have a lot of uh, killing surface area, essentially. <laughs> Pretty much, just because they have a very small point that hits you. Right. Hang on, I gotta change my sensitivity. It's a little off. Okay. I think I'm good. They're just a little bit harder to hit people with because they are kind of small. So, you gotta aim a little bit more with tires. Get it together. 50 or 30, one of them. 50. Nice. Okay, let's see if this box will do damage. See how I have it at a corner. Yeah, I, I see. Let's see how much damage it'll do. I wow. grabbed it right before it fell over. Wow. I didn't really throw it that hard, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that throw. I'm gonna try a vertical pallet. Okay. Let's, get, let's do this. You can do down throws with those a lot easier. If I can get it to stay vertical. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, that did 500. Your body exploded. No kidding. Wow. Pallets <laughs> are already kind of heavy objects, so when you have it at a very small point, it works amazing. Okay, I had no idea that the, uh, the surface area of things played such a part. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it took me a little while to figure out some of that stuff, but once yeah. you know, it's like you use it to your advantage every time. <laughs> I'm just going to do a normal pounce at you with this chair and show you the damage that I'm talking about that does. What did it do, 50? I didn't even throw it, and it did 50. <laughs> wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about with these points of damage. Okay. That I don't even have to try, and it still does that damage. Now we know. And, um, 
something that I actually learned from a hidden tutorial video is the uh, rapidly pressing C for to not use your stamina. Oh yeah, yeah, I use that. I think I did that before I saw anybody else do that. <laughs> just because I figured, hey, I'm not going to waste all my stamina if I can just tap it really quick. Oh, and uh, There's I noticed in your video uh, that mm -hmm. you use a different UI. You want to talk about that? Yeah, that was um, Pegas, uh, Pegas, excuse me, from the Hidden Forums. He created it a long time ago, and I had downloaded it to try it out. And I like it a lot better than the original. Just because the stamina bar at the bottom is so huge, you can kind of see a lot better how much stamina you're going to have and how much it uses. Right. Okay. It's that just makes... a, a custom HUD that you can download from the hidden forms. Okay. Uh, we'll put the link in the description for that. So what uh, what sensitivity are you playing at now? Uh, well, I'm. I have a decent mouse, which is it's going to sound like my sensitivity is lower, but. I think I'm running at around 4,000 DPI on my mouse, and I'm at 6.8, I think, in sensitivity, or 6.9. Um, so I can't really translate into something you can understand without you having this mouse, too, <laughs> I guess. Right. <clears throat> I didn't even throw that. What did it do? 10 damage? Here, I don't... Let me put this in perspective. Let's see. This is my mouse moving maybe three inches, two inches, and I'm doing like two or three three sixties, something like that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what about like tactics? I don't know how to explain some things in here. Um, like I guess when you want to try to fizz people, and uh, they are really good at tracking you. I wish you could see where I was. Yeah, using we these the plus pipes up here mm -hmm. um, are very good and even using this up here these lights you can stand on top of kind of just hiding from the normal areas like being next to a barrel or being in the corner of some boxes over here you know things like that right you just hop up here on top of lights and watch people just freak out or over here on top of these rails and just watch them freak out. <laughs> uh, it seems like there are people who are very good at tracking, but I think those are just some more experienced players who know what the hidden player is likely to be doing. Yeah, pretty much. Like, you know, you know, just from a pounce where they're going to land, like if they pounce with an object, you can tell the the arc of their pounce and everything and yeah. where they're going to land pretty much. Especially with fist killers. Yeah. But see, you can curve as hidden. You can actually, you know, air yes. strafe and basically get away most of the time. That's what I normally do if I'm going to go and just throw shit. I'm not going to get, you know, stomped on by somebody that's tracking me. That's actually uh, another thing that I learned that's very, very useful. Air strafing, you know, with your A and D keys. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just going to demonstrate that a little bit. Yeah. And it's really useful. And doing it is just turning your mouse in the direction along with A or D, you know. It's very intuitive what you do to do it, <laughs> actually. Let's see, let's see, what can I do? Uh, uh, we didn't cover up stick. throws. Um, they're a little bit harder. Yeah, stand on the light, and let's see if I can do it. They're a little bit harder, just because it's... The way the barrel goes. If I go straight up, it'll do... 25. You know, it'll work every time. But I've got to fling it. And flinging it is the part that's not as easy. <laughs> let's see if I can do it. I know I'll kill you this time because you're so low health, but yeah. Uh, let me get a different object. What is your health at right now? Three. Three? So I'm gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I think that last hit did seventy or something. I don't know what you were at. 
Oh, do you no, have I think it did 50. I'm not Never sure. Mind. Yeah. Yeah, you had fall damage. That looked like it would that have been painful. Work. Oh! <laughs> but, you know, people who camp up there is useful against them. Like that. And side swipes. Like with a pallet. That always works. Alright, this is gonna be pretty much how to deal with people who try to camp up there on the lights where you see Forgal. Um, you can use a pallet, you can use a barrel, whatever, but pallets are pretty good because you can do a good side throw. But because this is kind of a local server, all these hits aren't gonna be insta kills just because of that slight lag between my computer and his. But most of the time, if you do that, it will instantly kill them if they're hiding up there. Well, you can kill people that hide in vents with the Xbox too. It's kind of hard, but you can do that by fizzing it in there. I'm gonna go get the Xbox. It's a little bit harder to do that. Um. Okay, I'm a little camper. My normal thing, like if I am hidden, I will put a damn barrel right there every time. <laughs> so nobody will get in there. That's really smart, actually. That's normally what I would do. Go about midways into it a little bit. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> nope. I does not want to move. Uh, come here, Xbox. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> the um, pig stick sometimes works. <laughs> the uh, bunny hopping off of an yeah. object. You have to uh, jump and uh, propel yourself, get the object to uh, kind of shift and push you. I know that much, yeah. but I can't do the bunny hopping. Pretty much just crouch jump on it, and as you're falling, it, you can jump off of it, and it kind of pushes you forward. Yeah. I don't know how to continue to crouch jump after that. <laughs> bunny hopping requires you just holding crouch and hitting space bar, you know, as you land, pretty much. Okay, so you hold crouch. Oops, I broke it. Yes, you hold crouch. You can you can bunny hop without holding crouch too, but you just have to time it differently. Crouching just gives you a little bit more time in between jumps that that you have to hit the space bar again. Okay. That's bunny hopping and people, you know, sometimes people cry about that. They don't want you bunny hopping in their server. So that's what bunny hopping is referring to. I always was confused about that. Yeah. I'll show you when I'm Iris um, what it means, I guess. You can do it as hidden, too. That's why they don't want you bunny hopping, because you can reserve your stamina when you bunny hop as a hidden. Okay. Instead of just constantly pouncing, you can bunny hop and you'll maintain your speed. <laughs> Back up all the way to spawn, and I'll show you what I mean. I will bunny hop towards you. You'll tell the difference between a hidden pouncing and a hidden bunny hopping. This is me bunny hopping. You right. see how I'm still at the same height? Now, if I was just pouncing, it takes a yeah. little bit longer for me to get from one area to another. But when you bunny hop, you maintain your speed and don't lose any stamina. Okay. That's interesting. Even though that's an exploit, I guess... You know, that's something I use sometimes. <laughs> well, physics killing is an exploit too, so. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you know, people are going to find something to complain about. Always. <laughs> oh, man. Um, another reason I like this map is that you can block those tunnels with these uh, dumpster bins. I don't know if you've done it. Mm -mm. I'm gonna try to block this one. Well, that's only that on servers that allow yeah. um, pig stick or pig shove. I can yeah. still get in there. 
No, I no, wasn't. I hit it wrong. Hang on. I'm gonna aim it up. Uh. <laughs> That's just rude. <laughs> and I can do it with the other side. So this would just be us thanking you for watching from the hidden perspective on how to fist kill. Appreciate it. With the help of Forgal Wits and myself, this is Hidden Source Beta. Come join us in a server <laughs> and maybe get a paladin in the face. <laughs>